All right, we're going to look at a new way of measuring angles here called radians. Up to now, you're probably most familiar with measuring angles in degrees, and it's like anything else. If you've learned how to measure, say, distances in kilometers, and then someone asks you to measure it in miles, you might feel a little uncomfortable at first. So you're probably going to feel a little bit uncomfortable here measuring angles in radians uh, until you get used to it, but you will get used to it. All right, so let's look at... Uh, an angle that we can move around here. So this angle right now is just happens to be 36.87 degrees roughly. An angle, when you're measuring an angle, it has nothing to do with distances. It has to do with how wide open two, you know, two lines or rays or line segments or, or whatever uh, are, right? This has nothing to do with how big those, those two, uh, these distances are here, right? It's the same angle whether these are down here or whether these are out here. All right, and so um, if we're going to talk about measuring angles here, degrees are where someone has decided that one full turn is going to be 360, or a right angle here. I don't know if I can get to show an actual right angle. What I'm going to do is put a grid here, and then we can see, whoops, not that, grid. There's a grid, so we can kind of snap things to the grid here. I'll make that four. Now, that's a right angle there, all right? That little box means it's a right angle, 90 degrees. If you divide this whole thing up into 90, or if you divide all the way around into 360, that's what degrees are, all right? Now, I'm gonna put these on a circle here. Not that you need a circle to have angles, but those are those are 10 degree inter increments. One degree by itself is pretty small. It's just a tiny little rotation, all right? 10 degrees is a fairly small rotation. I uh, if I'm going to rotate, if I'm going to put this to one degree, it's going to be really hard to stop at one. There's one degree. One degree is hardly anything. All right, but that's what degrees are. Degrees are just based on that being separated into 90 equal sized uh, increments. Now, radians are based on something else. Radians are based on ratio of distances in a circle. Now, I'm going to show you what these are in radians before we see... Uh, not that, sorry. Uh, turn on radians right there. Um, this is the measurement of this angle in radians. Now, it might not make any sense as to why it is. As we go up here, you uh, you see that it's a certain number of radians as you go around here. Now, the numbers are a lot smaller than degrees, right? We're at 126 degrees, this angle is. We're only at 2.21 radians. So what are, what are radians related to? Well, the word radian sounds a lot like radius, and it does have to do with the radius of the circle. So there's two lines that show the radius of that circle. Right now it happens to be four, and I'm less than one radian here. If I increase this to one radian, I'm gonna stop where it's one, one radians, <laughs> one radians, or one radian. What's the significance of that angle right there? It doesn't look like there's much significant about it. It's sort of a strange number of degrees here, right? 57 point, uh, point whatever, three roughly, something like that. Okay, somewhere in there. I mean, this is, not sure where I can stop there, but anywhere. Somewhere in there is, is uh, somewhere in there is one radian. The significance of that is, it has to do with this, this distance here, this arc length. What do you think that arc length is? That arc length, if we turn it on here, is exactly the same as the radius at that point. That's the definition of one radian. One radian is when this arc length is the same as the radius of the circle. If you increase this, so if I, if I go back down here, right now the arc length is less than the radius. If I increase this until I get just to, not even looking at the angle, if I stop on four here, uh, I can't always stop right on four, but there's pretty close to four. Stop on four there, one radian. If I advance this here and I stop at 8, I got oh, almost there, almost there. Uh, and then I'm going to have about 2 radians, right? Okay. The, num the angle in radians, now I'm obsessed with stopping, there we go. Uh, the angle in radians is simply the ratio of the arc length to the radius of the circle arc length to radius of circle. 
right? If I if I stretch this along here so, till I have an arc length of ten, I'm gonna have about two and a half radians, right? Because ten divided by four, two and a half. It's this distance is two and a half times this distance. That's all radians are. Okay. Now radians are a distance divided by another distance. So they're just a ratio of two distances. They actually have no units. I've got the word radians here, but they actually have no units. You just say that this angle is 2.5. Now, the thing you might wonder is, how many radians does it take to go all the way around here now? Well, we can keep going and kind of see here, right? If we keep going like this, and we see that we, we're up to 3 and 4 and 5 and... Six and now it's not going to get to seven. It's kind of going to get to somewhere in there, right? Six point something. It's not a very nice number. Okay, it's not a very nice number if you categorize numbers as nice or not nice. What is it? What is it related to? How many are there going to be all the way around? Well, if you think about it, you can figure it out. And to do that, I'm going to put that back to one radian here. If I can without struggling too much with it there something like that all right and I take a picture of that so that I can write on it here let's make some more space so if we snap a picture of that circle there we go now, if we're gonna if we're gonna mark off, uh, figure out how many radians are there to go all the way around this thing, we can figure it out pretty easily just by looking at if we know how long this is, which we do. That's four, right? The radius is four, and if we know the circumference of this circle, the distance around here, we can just divide it and figure out how many it is, right? Because one radian is when this is the same as the radius. So if we mark off another four here and another four here count how many times around all we need to do is divide to figure it out we need to divide the circumference by the radius now you actually already know what that is because the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter or in other words pi times two times the radius so if you want to know how many times the circumference can be divided by the diameter right you could just rearrange this little formula here and you get c over r equals pi times 2, or 2 pi, right? Divide that by r, divide that by r, you have this, right? The circumference divided by the diameter is 2 times pi. 2 times pi, pi is about 3.14, 2 times pi is about 6.28. Right? If you go back to the to our uh, circle here now, if I, remember that when I went all the way around here, I got to about 6.28 right before it flips back to zero now if I show you a scale in radians here let's get rid of this for a second there's a radian scale right one radian was when I get just to this and it have the arc length equal the radius two radians when it's double the radius three radians when it's triple the radius three radians is not quite half a turn half a turn if I get to half a turn here what number, what's the significance of that number? That number right there. That number is pi, right? It's basically pi, 3.14. Now this program's rounding it off to a couple decimal places, but that's pi. Half a turn is pi, because a whole turn is 2 pi, 6.28. You got f four radians there, five radians, six radians. There's six and change all the way around. That's what a radian is, all right? A radian by definition again is when you have arc length equal to the radius. If you want to know how many radians it is, take the take your arc length, divide it by your radius. That's actually a, a formula we can write down here. We could write down that formula. If we have our circle up here, go back up a bit so we can see. Here's our arc length and we have our theta in here. I'll draw it bigger. And we have our radius here. The angle in radians is whatever the arc length is, right? When this was when this arc length was all the way over here to to ten, 
and this was 4. We divided that, we got 2.5. Right? If you want the angle in radians, take the arc length divided by the radius. Right? That's that relationship. Angle is arc length divided by radius. And now remember that this is the angle in radians, right? In radians. Right? That's what a radian is. You'll get used to you'll get used to using them.